Yeah, it's really nice to know that this tragedy, this American tragedy on American soil is being recognized. The feeling in the area has been really, really heavy. Um, actually walking through the Greenwood District. Remember, these were 40 square blocks of businesses that were all started and supported by African Americans. Um, this was something that was built immediately after slavery. And if you think about it, African Americans were not allowed to be educated, to go to hospitals, to share hotels, to go to diners or cafes with white Americans. So they built Greenwood as a way to have their own and then to have that taken away from you in a matter of hours. It was very heavy. It was very heavy. And then just thinking about like the pain and the terror that the people experienced as their homes were being burned and, and aerial bombs being dropped on their community. It's very heavy and I'm very happy to know that this tragic event is being talked about and that a president is coming down to face this. What do both of you want to see? Is there a concerted effort being talked about to bring this back into schools, uh, to recognize this on a more national scale annually, uh, to do more to really recognize not just what happened, but the impact that it has and continues to have on, on black communities throughout the country? You know, what's interesting to me is being in Tulsa, I've learned that there were so many residents of Tulsa that never even heard of this tragedy. So to our understanding and through the education that we received while we were here, we learned that this was one of the dirty little secrets of Tulsa that they wanted to just sweep under the rug to never discuss again. Now, remember, between the years of about 1860 through 1930, I believe there were a number of race massacres on black neighborhoods throughout America that just have never been talked about. So this isn't a new thing and nor was it rare or uncommon. This is the one that's being focused on right now. Hey, thanks for watching. For more stories like this, be sure to stream Bloomberg Quick Take 24 seven for free at any of the places down below. Get live coverage, interviews, documentaries, deep dives, and so much more on the stories that you care most about. And don't forget to hit the follow or subscribe button on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune into our 24 7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about most.